<sighs> Cartoon Network has got to stop advertising new episodes like they're some sort of special thing or else they're going to lose their fan base. Okay, here we go. Hello, cartoon fanatics, and welcome to uh, Cartoon Corner on Steven Universe. Boy, I actually wasn't sure if another one of these would ever come around, but here we are. There's actually some new Steven Universe to talk about, so we're going to talk about it because everything else is on hiatus right now, and apparently I have nothing better to do with my life. So here we go. As we had all been anticipating after we saw the teaser for... Was, was that for Comic-Con? I think it was for Comic-Con. I don't remember if it was the big one or one of the smaller ones. But ever since we kind of saw the teaser for this, we've been pumped about it. And this is the Steven Universe Stranded Special, as they're calling it, which includes the Lars of the Stars episode and then the follow-up with that. And we had been super pumped to see Lars of the Stars made after that little snippet yeah snippet that we got months and months ago at, at least yeah it was months ago i'm trying to think when was the last time we covered steven universe like june was that june yeah it was june so it's been a while <laughs> so as we had previously seen in that one little teaser months ago um steven and connie go to see lars they bring him a care package and Steven thinks that Lars would just be stuck with all the other off-color gems still hiding around, and it turns out instead, no, they've stolen a spaceship, and they're going around all Star Trek warrior style, and <laughs> Lars is acting all sassy and stuff, and l let me say, I got a kick out of Lars during this whole sequence, because good grief, he went from like zero to a hundred, and the span of like 10 seconds. It's unbelievable the amount of sass this child now has in him. It's it's really fun to watch him run his battalion of off-color gems and kind of throw all this shade at Emerald, the gem that's chasing them down after they stole all this stuff from her. And I guess their goal is, at least from what we got, their goal is they're trying to head to Earth so the off-color gems can enjoy peace and then Lars can reunite with his family. And so th they've just kind of been on this one-track mission and just killing it the whole time. And Lars seems super excited to show Steven and Connie, like, hey, look at all this cool stuff now. We're a team. We do all this crazy stuff. Isn't it neat? Look, look how cool we are. And in return, he wants to know, you know, how are things at home, because as far as his family knows, they kind of know he's out there, but it, it's just kind of a weird situation. It's like, he's technically dead, but he's okay. <laughs> like, how do you say that to someone's parents? <laughs> Ugh. So anyway, Steven, like, shows him stuff that's going on with his family and Sadie, and Lars gets especially frustrated because Sadie moved on with her life, and I... I guess he kind of had the feeling. It, it's that sensation you get whenever you leave home for a long period of time. And once you hit college, you get a lot more of this. And then it just kind of grows the older you are. But the longer you're away from home, the more you see of what's going on back there with the people you know, the more disconnected you are from it. And it, it's a very surreal experience. It almost feels like you suddenly don't belong in that place anymore, even though you remember growing up and being very comfortable there. And I kind of got the sense that Lars was going through the same thing when he saw that Sadie had moved on and was doing all this stuff. And he gets pretty upset for a while because it seems like, oh, she for did she forget about me? Did she realize I'm out here doing all of this craziness, trying to get back home and... Steven and Connie kind of calm him down by giving him a big old pep talk how it usually goes with them and in fact they're so enthused and so <laughs> give him such a grand speech that they fuse together into Stevani which I was surprised that didn't get like a ton of shocked reactions from the gems and Lars around them but you know like most of the jumps are like, oh, cool, they fused. That's that's neat. <laughs> they, they didn't seem too phased by it. They're like, oh, they're they're one person now. Yep, that that makes sense. But in the midst of all of this, they help Lars get out of his funk, and then he goes back to doing the craziness that he was doing earlier. And like I said, this this child seems to have no pause button anymore. He's just 
120% sass. I mean, look look at these faces. Look at these anime faces. It's just it's crazy. I couldn't get over that. But I'm going to move on to what's sort of the thing that shocked people the most during this, and that's the Stranded episode that happened after. And how that starts is Stephen and Connie are helping fend off a and one of Emerald's other ships from Lars's ship that he stole. They end up getting shot down and end up on this, I think what we discover is a moon. Yeah, we discover that it's a moon by the end of the episode. And they're still fused as Stevani this whole time, which is a very surreal experience. I don't think they had been fused for that long since the first time they became Stevani. And it seems like they spend almost days on end. They're just like, hey, look, there's life here. That means that we can survive and wait out until Lars comes and finds us. And Stevani just kind of goes all cast away for most of the episode. She's hunting down fruit and critters and shaving her face with a, the sword. That was pretty funny and setting up camp and stuff. It's just to to total castaway experience. The only thing that didn't happen is she didn't find an object that she named to, for a conversation because I mean obviously it wasn't just one person it was Stephen and Connie fused together so they had each other in a way which is very interesting it was interesting to see that whole dynamic with Stevani and being together in that whole situation and during this time that Stevani's on this moon she discovers that there's a whole base area like an abandoned base and it turns out that the moon that they're on was a moon that was supervising a colony for a planet that had been conquered. And it looks like it was just sort of abandoned a long time ago. And during all of that, Stevani falls asleep and she has this really wild dream. When first it starts off as just Connie's mom and then all of a sudden Connie's mom is yellow diamond and Stevani is pink diamond and it's like, oh my goodness, what's going on? And pink diamond is nothing like we thought she would be, which is probably good. Because at this point, there were so many fan theories building up to who Pink Diamond was and how things would be. And now that we kind of actually have some solid information, it, I don't think it's anything like anyone predicted. And that makes it even more fascinating because based on sort of Stevani's dream about being Pink Diamond, Pink Diamond is almost kind of like a preschooler. And I can say that because I've been around a lot of preschoolers and... It seems like Pink Diamond very much acts like a preschooler or a small child that is surrounded by all of her older sisters or siblings or parents or whatever doing all these great things. They're conquering planets. They've got their own armies. They've got their own colonies. And Pink Diamond is just like, well, when is it going to be my turn? I want all of that stuff too, and I don't want to wait until I get older. I want to do it now. And we only really see conversation with Pink and Yellow Diamond through this surreal dream. But we do get a sense seeing Pink Diamond's design. She is nothing like the other diamonds. Her gem is completely different. It's not It's not a rough, straight diamond like the other diamonds are. It's, it's the kind of diamond you'd find at the store where it's been compressed and it had all this work done on it. Which is very interesting. I, I don't exactly know what that means at the moment, but the fact that Pink Diamond's gem is shaped like a professionally cut diamond that you'd see at the jewelry store as compared to the rest of the diamonds, which just seem to be really rough diamond shapes, that is very fascinating. But the fact that we have any of this to speculate on at all is really cool. So there's all of that. And unfortunately, that's all we get because Stevani snaps out of the dream. And then from there, she figures out, oh, this is the base from that dream. And I can contact Lars using the thing that I saw in the dream. And she does all of that. And then Lars touches down and gets her. And they she heads back home. And that's, that's pretty much where it ends. When, in, in true Steven Universe form, we get a couple of new things, but we still are left with a lot of questions. And a lot of questions that hopefully are not painstakingly answered over the course of several years, which seems to be the way that the pace is going right now. I mean, I appreciate time and wanting to develop your story and your characters and making sure these things happen in their own time and space, but... At, at the same time, it's like y your, your episodes keep getting cut off. Anytime you've got 
brand new episodes and like these things were pretty much fully developed months ago when Cartoon Network delays them and then does a special with only two I, 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 I don't know what's going on there I, I'm not even going to try to understand it because cartoons and politics and Hollywood's just kind of crazy right now so I don't even want to try and figure it out it, I'm happy that we even have anything honestly but it is kind of frustrating if you try to unravel the mystery and furrow your brow and think in too deep. So I, at, at this moment, I'm just going to try and take the, the episodes we get for what they're worth. I'm glad that we have these. I loved all the interactions and the character development that we now see in Lars. That That is great right there. I love seeing that he's not huddled around and hiding with all the other off-colors. They're actually getting out and doing stuff, and I bet they go on all these epic space adventures that'll make pretty good side stories sometime in the future, either via the show or through the comics. That that would be interesting to see if they do anything with that. Kind of their endeavors fighting Emerald. That would be really cool. And then, now that we even, we've got a design for Pink Diamond, whether it's the way she looked when she was shattered or not, because it seems to be before she got Earth or started to get Earth and have all these gems to help her conquer Earth. It, it seems like it's kind of before all of that. But if this is sort of a taste of what's to come, then it might be the case that Pink Diamond is just a small child that tried getting it her own way way too fast. And she suffered for that. Or it could be other reasons. I know there's some speculation already that Pink Diamond might actually be defective in some way. Like she's a defective diamond, which is unheard of. And that's why the other diamonds keep her in so much secrecy. But honestly, who knows at this point? It's hard to say. Nothing's written in stone. Ha ha. So I'm just going to leave this right here. I hope you enjoyed these episodes as much as I did. And hopefully the new ones after this won't take like five to six months to see hopefully but until then if you liked this hasty review go ahead and put a thumbs up and press that like button and don't forget to comment and subscribe as well i don't know when the next new cartoon thing will be it'll either be more steven universe or star versus the forces of evil or heck even rick and morty you know what who knows i really don't know at this point because pacing on all of these shows and their release dates is so confusing i've stopped trying to understand it i just kind of wait until things pop up online all of a sudden and then i just kind of roll with it so bear with me on that and i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you for the next review whenever that happens yeah <laughs>